Um, this is just so that you're prepared to start tweezing the frontal. Um, I liked what how it came with the little baby hairs, but I wanted a bit more of a natural hairline. So I'll show you how I pluck and just part the hair, keeping the baby hairs in the front out of the way and just pluck from the root. Be my chauffeur, be my chauffeur. You know today we won't talk too much, too much. So as you can see, I keep taking lines behind the hairline and you just pluck in different sections. You shouldn't pluck in the same section for more than like two seconds, honestly. And then I also flip to the other side and pluck the other side of the frontal. So when you're plucking your frontal, you want to be sure that you don't over pluck. Keep checking your frontal, see how it looks, if you like it. And if not, just keep going back. Um, just be sure just not to over pluck, not to rip the root of your frontal because it will show if you have any partings in your frontal. But I was quite pleased with how that section looks so I moved on and continued to the other side. Once you part your hair in the middle it will just act as a guide in order to be sure that your hair is placed in the centre. I then go in with my Keracare wax stick and I just use that to lay the edges down as I'll go through it with a hot comb and see how natural the hairline looks and if I'm pleased with it. This hair was actually a dream, like this curly hair didn't tangle whatsoever, it was very smooth and there was no knots at all. So this is the amount of hair I plucked in total, don't be scared or be freaked out, it's normal. Um, just be sure not to over pluck your frontal because you will look bold. So I'm just sewing up my braids so it's out of the way when I'm wearing my wig. Then I'm gonna go in with my got to be spray, spray it along my edges using a brush and just pull them back all out of the way, just so that when you're laying your wig, none of your hair is affected. So now using one of the wig caps, I'm just gonna place it on my head and then I'm gonna pierce two little holes near my ears just so that it's secure and it doesn't move. <laughs> So you have the option to use the got to be ultra glued in the black bottle or you can actually just use the got to be spray. I ended up using the gel and the spray however I wouldn't recommend using the gel only because it just leaves like a dry mark and when you're putting on your wig it can show through. If I find girl wanna come true, baby girl you should just come true. I fly boy don't wanna come for you. Jump on your feet one two. Oh my friends are wasted, cause we hate this love when we fight too much. The vibe can never be wasted, cause we hate this love when. So right now I'm just drying the cap using a cool option on my blow dryer so using a concealer that's close to my skin tone i'm just going to place it all around the hairline of the cap and then also in the middle and the side where i'll possibly move your feet like this move your feet like that make sure you don't hold it back so i tried on the wig transfer just looking on the dance floor for your footprint yeah. My friends are wasted Cause we hate this love When we fight too much The vibe can never be wasted So now I'm going to use 91% rubbing alcohol And just use a small cotton pad And just clean my hairline Making sure that there's no dirt or oils around my hairline so I just placed the wig back on my head 
and I'm just going to use a little white pencil in order to give me a guideline as to where my hairline dips in and out and it just prevents you from using too much glue in areas that you're not supposed to use it. Big body could be my lover Show you things that you never heard of, baby I know so right here you can see me thing for my ear and what you want to do is cut around your ear so that your wig can fit very snug on your head. Going back in with the rubbing alcohol, I'm just going to clean the area once again just to be sure that the glue will stick onto my skin. And then I'm going to go in with my Ghost Bond glue and dot it around my hairline and I'm going to use the end of my rat tail comb and just spread it thin around my hairline. You don't want it to be too thick as it will take forever to dry. And also, you just want to be sure that you don't go past your guidelines. So once it's clear, you can add on layers. I use two more layers, so in total three, and I just use my blow dryer just to speed up the process because I'm so impatient, I can't lie to you guys. But just let it dry until it's clear, and then you want to be ready to press it down. So I just use my fingernails just to lightly press it and make sure that it's in the position that I liked. Then I'm gonna go in with the teeth of my comb and just press and glide it along the hairline just so that it really melts into the lace. So in order to get that skin like, where's my lace, what lace, can't see no lace, I'm just gonna use the wax stick and the got to be spray and just use the hot comb to melt it into the skin of the cat. Make your body say, yeah, yeah. I got the candles lit and pep tools on the floor. Pep tools on the floor. If you think you're dreaming, baby, you will dream some more. Dreaming, I'm dreaming, girl. I'll ride for you. Ride for you. I'll never... So I'm just gonna blow dry my hair using the cool option and making sure that everything is stable, nothing's gonna move before we cut off the lace around it. Can I get the bust? small pair of scissors I just cut in the middle and on the sides just to make it a bit easier and what you want to do is cut around your hairline following your natural hairline and just cut in zigzag jagged motions just to give more of a flawless finish if you cut it straight you're gonna look like a donkey you're gonna look stupid so make sure you cut in a zigzag shape After using the got to be spray, it may flake up on your hair. So all you need to do is just comb it out and just use a spray bottle with water and conditioner and just rub it away. So you just want to clean off your hairline just so you don't have any buildup of the glue or hairspray. And if you lift your edges and you see that it's still flapping, just go in with the got to be glue again and just wait for it to dry clear and press it down. Next, you just want to part your hair in whatever size you want. I prefer a side parting, so that's what I chose. Then I'm going to use a mousse that is alcohol free. If it has alcohol in it, it will lift your lace. So just be sure that it has no alcohol. This love when we fight too much. The fat can never be wasted. Using my hot comb, I'm just going to smooth it through, making sure all the partings are clear. I get all the edges and the back of the hair down as well. So I quickly went to co-wash my hair 
and now I'm just going to use this Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and just place it all throughout my hair. So now it's time for baby hairs. Now this part is optional, you don't have to have baby hairs. But I feel that with curly hair, baby hairs just look so much better. So I just take a thin amount on each part that I'd like to have a little swoop. Then using a blade or a pair of scissors, I just cut down the hair so that it's short and it doesn't look crazy. I then go back in with my mousse and I use it on my baby hair and just start to brush it or comb it through giving you a swell and just make it as natural as possible i'm very picky so it took me quite a while to get this done but eventually i got there show me how low can you really go you gotta buy just just looking up on the dance floor for your footprint by me joe by me joe show me how low can you really go you gotta buy just just looking up on the dance floor for your footprint Next, I'm going to take my paper wrapping strips and place it around my edges just to lay them down. Once you've wrapped your edges down, make sure you use your blow dryer just to make sure everything is set in place. Once your hair is dry, you want to comb out your baby hairs just so that it doesn't look stiff. You don't want it to look like it's glued to your head. So to give you that fluffy natural look, just comb it through. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. So this is Love Me Hair and this is a 12 inch deep wave undetectable lace frontal wig that was a mouthful um but yeah this wig was sent to me from love me hair um it is a 13 by 6 so you can part it way back as you can see it goes all the way here so you're able to do any type of hairstyle really if i separate that you know people like to do that kind of like half up half down kind of look um, I've just parted it on the side for now. I don't know if I should cut it a bit shorter, maybe like a, a 10 inch like here. But as I said, I've got a chubby face, so I don't feel like that length will suit me unless it's a sleek look. But I really like this hair, it's really soft. Um, as you saw earlier, I went to go and co-wash it real quickly and it was okay. There was a bit of shedding, but that's, like, that's expected with like curly hair, so that's normal. Um, what else can I say? There's no weird smell. Hair's really soft. The curl pattern, I thought, I asked for deep wave. I thought it would be a bit more, obviously the curls have been manipulated, but I thought it would be a bit more like tighter curls. Um, but I'm not mad, I still like this. This is really nice. Um, the frontal's really nice. Um, I didn't have to, it, I think it came already bleached actually, if you saw. Um, my unboxing it it looked like it was bleached already so I literally just put my foundation or concealer on on the lace and that was it I didn't have to bleach it I didn't have to um, do that much to it to be honest I didn't have to tint it I just used what I had already which is convenient this is such an easy wig if you're a beginner I feel like this is something that you could get for yourself it's very simple um, you don't have to do a lot to it. Obviously, I wanted to pluck a bit more in the in the, in the front. Oh, can I speak today? I wanted to pluck a bit more in the front just to make it a bit more realistic. Um, and yeah, I think I achieved that. I'm not that great with hair. I do learn. I literally just learn off YouTube. So I'll actually put some links down below to um, some channels that I I use to help me, you know, get get this kind of look, this hairstyle. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you'd like to see from me, please comment below. And once again, thank you to Love Me Hair for sending me this gorgeous, gorgeous wig. And yeah, I shall see you in my next video.
please comment subscribe all of that good stuff and i'll see you again soon bye